G'day, Darren Chair from ACS Technical Support Team. Today I'm going to create a um, BACnet station where we're going to import some BACnet device and some BACnet points. So first of all, I've created a back, uh, BACnet station, a blank station, via the tools new station. I've copied it across to my platform and I've started the station. So I'm ready to add the BACnet network. So we're going to go to the config space, drivers. Double click on drivers, click the new button. On the drop down menu, we're going to go and select the backnet network, click OK, and click OK. If I double click on the backnet network, you will see that the discover button is grayed out. We first need to configure the backnet network so that we be able to discover devices. So the first thing we need to do is go and set the local devices object ID. So in this scenario, we're going to give it one of uh, 100. Save it. Now I need to go to the backnet comms, to the network, and have a look at the network number. That is one. I'll leave it like that for now. And then I need to select the adapter. I'm going to use the Tossybox adapter as I'm doing this demo on my laptop. And I'm going to hit the save button. Check that the IP that is assigned to your adapter is the correct one for the network. And the last thing I need to do is enable the network, the IP port. And I click the save button. Let's go and have a look at the BACnet network now. Now you'll see that the discover button is available. So we click on it and we can just say OK on the configure device discovery. Now we are busy discovering BACnet devices on our network. And there we go. We've got two devices. We're going to add the AAC20 from the Discover window into the database by double clicking on the device. I'm going to change the UCOVs to true. And I'm going to say OK. No other configuration needed to add the device. Now we need to bring in some points. So I'm going to double click on the points extension folder and hit the discover button. It will discover the points in the device. So I'm going to add the room temperature from our discover window into my database by double clicking on the room temp. All the settings for the backnet object, in this case the room temperature, um, is automatically discovered via the backnet network. I'm just going to give it a facet of degree C and I click OK. And there we go. We've just added a backnet point into the database. So it was pre pretty simple to do. Add the network, add the device, and add a point. And there you go. I hope this was helpful. Until next time. Bye-bye.